until trans talk with Peru. <laughs> cheers, first things first. Doesn't matter kahit anong oras, diba? Cheers. Mm. So, how's everyone doing? Okay, all good? Fabulous. <laughs> so I wanna say, okay, this is just after the event that I did this weekend for the Be Youth Forum, diba? Yay! That was fun, but I just want to give a shout out to the Red Whistle and Safe Sexy Old Diva. It was a, it was an amazing experience and liberating, and just like having that you know talk a little bit and sharing my story in life. But um, somehow I feel like if I could make a difference just by sharing my story, Diva, it's like it feels good inside. It's about um, the beauty within, the confidence, following your passion, and even like the power of social media. In a world like right now, diba na, so many things are very superficial, diba? And if like, you know, being youth and growing up, it's like you feel peer pressure and obstacles, challenges, all that in life. And we've all been there, naman, kahit naman even older people still go through that. But that's what the Be Youth Forum was all about. I have my ano pala. Oh, do you, can I show my plaque? Oh, di ba? That's my plaque of appreciation, which I already posted on my Instagram na. This is not just a plaque, you know, it, it symbolizes something else. Di ba? Thank you. Thank you, Red Whistle. <laughs> There's a lot of people uh, are very curious or uh, uh, have been asking why a lot of uh, transgenders end up in prostitution, especially here in Southeast Asia. What do you think about it? Why? What do I think about it? Um, well, like I said, like, you know, I didn't really grow up here, but living here now for three years, I feel like um, it's opening eyes to um, new things for me. Na here in the Philippines, it's still hard to be who you are in terms of being a transgender because, like the law, they still don't recognize that um, gender identity like they don't have no recognition with that so it's hard for them to express themselves or just be who they are even though if they're very smart they're qualified they're qualified like you know like they can do what other people could do they ended up doing something now they would feel that they're more appreciated right because they don't have a choice and although it is not socially accepted but they feel like they could be themselves. They could um, make money, easy money, earn money, especially how we live here in Filipinas, Diva. We need money and like the situation. But I think that's the reason. And I think that that's what we need down the road to push now. Hopefully the government will, you know, recognize this and that they would have that anti-discrimination with gender and other issues, Diva. And like, look at like, like, for me, like I said, like living somewhere else like Canada, I grew up there and like, there's no issues with this, right? And like me legally living as a woman, there's not even like a transgender, it's either it's female or male, but I am considered female. I feel like we're still a little behind with that support system, you know, as much as we say that we're very acceptance and tolerance about everything, but when it comes to legal rights. We still don't have that and we need to push that equal rights diba, with people. And hopefully down the road, you know, we can make a difference with that. So hoping like, you know, by passing the anti-discrimination law that hopefully this would open like, you know, for like transgender people to get the, the job that they want, like what they're qualified for, diba, like to earn money and to just be free and equal because that's what we need in society and hopefully like talagang that would open doors in fact we are sometimes better and smarter than that diba for what we've been through and we put that in like in our like you know everyday lives and how we cope with it your, your struggles have become your strength and that's what you use in your everyday life diba to wake up in the morning just like hey every day is a bottle diba the struggle is real but just gotta keep pushing even for me I'm, as much as i look like this i still have that discrimination here and there and the stigma that i keep saying that we gotta break that stigma down the road it's not gonna be easy but don't give up we just gotta keep fighting diba move forward with this and just surround yourself with the positive people who would love you and support you for being who you are that's the main thing and you will be okay. And what I keep telling you guys, what doesn't kill you can only make you stronger, okay? And if you like this, please feel free to comment on my social media accounts. 
I'm Peru Morena Fierces on Facebook, at Instagram at Exotic Beauty Peru, and Twitter at Peru Morena. And hopefully that we can tackle more of these issues down the road, Ivan. Until next one, you guys, as I always say, remember, stay fierce and fabulous. Cheers. Bye.